Hi and welcome to Crafty Ladybug. Today's tutorial is going to be on the fireman. I did this fireman, the certain colors of yellow and orange, for my local volunteer fire company in which I've got many of friends that volunteer. So I'm making these and my daughter are making these to give away as charms for a local fundraiser that they're doing for their fire company. Please also visit the fire hydrant and the fire puppy videos that I have on my channel. To begin today's tutorial, I'd like to thank PG's Lumacy. He's the originator of the basic action figure in which I've um, based most of my techniques of this fireman from. Um, if you'd like to visit his site, it is PG's Lumacy's. He's got a channel and he's got some great products on there for you to take a look at. The original firefighter that I began with, this was my prototype, the first one I did, we're going to be using these colors, the red and the yellow, and I'm going to be doing black today. You can use any colors of your choice, but I just wanted to let you know that today's tutorial is going to be red, yellow, and black. You will be needing two eyes. Please follow my beaded, threading a bead tutorial to learn how to do the eyes if you don't already know how to do them. We'll be needing three mini pony beads, or you can use rubber bands in the places that I use those pony beads. An assortment of red for our jacket, yellow for our accents, black for our boots, and I'm going to do the gloves in black also. A flesh color for the face, and let's begin. We're going to begin with the loom set in a standard position. And I'm going to start with the arms first. For our arms, you want to take two bands and we're going to lay those just right down the loom. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm starting off wrong. That should be red. Two bands of red or the color of your jacket, the main color of your jacket. Two more bands of red. Two bands of red, two bands of red. I'm going to switch to black, and for this black, we want to double twist and place that on the band on the loom. And then our end portion is going to be a four time cat band one, two three, and I think I messed that up. I have a hard time when I do the cat bands. You can do the cat bands whatever way you feel comfortable. I have to lift my loom and wrap it around. So there's one, two, three, four. That's the way I feel most comfortable to do a cat band, but you feel free to do your cat bands however you wish. And we need to make another arm, just like that. Two, 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 two. And I'm making a mess today, guys. I'm so sorry about that. This is going to be one band, double twisted and placed onto itself. And then on the loom and a four time cat band on that one. One, two, three, three, and four. Okay, now to begin looming, as we loom, we're going to be adding our yellow bands in on his arms in certain areas. And as we loom, I'm gonna show you what we do with the arms for that. If you've already just looped it completely up and taken it off the loom, you might wanna hit pause and start over again. <laughs> so we're gonna reach into that black cat band Come forward with that black band. Then on this band, this peg right here, where we just loop that black band, you wanna loop a yellow band around three times as a cat band or your accent color. And we're gonna reach into there and grab the red. And we're gonna do that twice. And then we're going to place another yellow band here, wrap it around three times. One, two, 
three. So that was a three time cap band. Now we're going to reach in and loom up. And you want to leave that there just like that for a minute or two while we work on the other, other arm. Reach into your black cap band, come forward, pause for a moment, three time cap band, one, two, three. Reach in again, come forward, one, two, pause again for a second, three time cap band, one, two, three, reach in, and finish our loom on up. Okay, now we're ready to take our arms off the loom. You can use toothpicks if you wish. Lots of people use toothpicks to, to secure their ends. We're going to be adding the arm to the body in just a little bit. When you pull your arm off the loom, we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. I wanted to get the bands to go on the front and the back of the arm. So you want to take one of these loops from your yellow cat band and you want to just fold it back around to the back. That's going to give you a little cuff area on your hand. We're going to do the same thing up here higher. You're going to grab one of those bands and just stretch it back onto the back. So we have two bands up front and one band in the back. And that's giving your arm kind of like the full band effect all the way around your arm. Let's set that one arm aside and take our other arm off and do the same thing to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spring allergies are in the air. Take one of your yellow bands and just fold it around the back. Take one of your yellow bands and just flip it and fold it around the back. And you can straighten them up just a little bit. And there we have his little arms. <coughs> okay, now we're going to begin with the helmet area. And I'm going to do the helmet first in one layer we're going to stop halfway up from looming and then we're going to add the rest of his face, body, and the rest of him. This is a very complicated procedure. If you need to hit the pause button to catch up with me, please do so. If you need to replay it back and forth, please do so. And I do want to warn you when we come to looming, if we miss a band, your character will fall apart. When we get to the looming portion, it's going to be a little difficult, and I will do my best to explain things the best I can for you. You've been warned. Okay, we're going to start by placing a single band on the center peg end of our loom. And I forgot to say our arrows are pointing towards us. You guys have probably figured that out by now. We want to take two bands from center to left two bands from center to right, two bands down the center, and then we're going to come down the left side, one, two, three pegs, one, two, three pegs. These are all double bands. On the other side, we're going to come down three pegs. With double bands. Two, three pegs. Now we're going to fill in the center. Double bands again. And your center is going to be coming down four pegs. Now we need to close off our diagonal. Left to center. To center. Okay, and what we're working on now is the back portion of his helmet to make his hat one solid piece. Now I need to cap off this band right here two times one and two. 
need to place in some horizontal bands. And we're going to go across these bottom three triangles with a one-time triangle or horizontal band, another one-time horizontal band, and the top one is going to be a double twist horizontal band. So that was a single horizontal band, a single horizontal band, and a double twist horizontal band. Now we're going to begin to loop the outer portion of our helmet. Before we do that though, I need to add in a few bands just for supporting, some supporting features of a later step. I want you to take a band and set it on this last peg on the right and just let it dangle over the side. Take another band, one single band, set it on the right, I'm sorry, the left, might be getting my rights and left confused today, my left peg and let it dangle over. We're going to use these two pieces later to um, connect our back portion of our helmet to our front portion of our helmet. So we'll need those two pieces for later. Reach into your cat band, come to the right, reach into your cat band, grab the top two, come to your left, reach into your cat band, come to your center. We're going to reach into our center again and come up just one more time. And then we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna reach into our left, grabbing our bottom two bands, coming forward, and we're gonna reach into the left again and come forward one more time. And we're stopping right there. We're not going all the way up to the top. Reach in on your right, grab the bottom two bands, and come up twice. Do not loop all the way up to the top. Push these guys down so that we have plenty of room for later. Make sure you stretch out your little extra bands that we had here on the side so we know that they're still there. Just stretch them out a little bit. And now we're going to begin to layer and lay the face area of our little fireman. And for our face area, you're going to take two colored bands and you're going to lay on peg two left to three left. That was peg two left to three left. And you can see that there's going to be a lot of stuff going on on those two pegs. You want to come and lay two bands on right number two to right number three. To flesh color or the flesh of your choice in the center on peg three to four. Flush again on left three and four. Flush again on right three to four. Flush again in the center. And now we're going to do his cheek area which will be left diagonal, right diagonal, push all that down. And we're going to work in the center now again for his neck area. There's his neck. These colored features here to make the collar will be done in a later step and you'll see that in a later step during looping. Now we can work on his jacket color again. Left diagonal from center to left, from center to right. And I'm doing the center in the accent color 
that I have chosen for his jacket. Now I'm going to come down the left side with two bands. Two bands. Two bands and two bands. One, two, three, four times down with two bands. <clears throat> We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Two bands, two bands, two bands. Two bands and then we're going to come to the center with two bands two bands oops lost those two so that's two bands and two bands so it's four bands coming down in your jacket color on the outside one two three and four and three of your jacket color on the inside. One, two, and three. These were all double bands. I'm going to switch to just a single band. One band going from left to center. One band going from center to right. And that is going to complete off the end of his jacket. I'm gonna to start to lay his legs. And for the legs, I use three bands, three bands. So three bands, three bands. Come over to your right and you're going to do three bands and three bands. The center section or the center section will be open because he doesn't have anything there. <laughs> We're going to take three black and three black. And now we're going to work on his feet, his little foot area. And to do that, we're not going to use the loom. You're going to take two bands and twist it on your hook. Put your hook through the center and twist two bands around your hook. And then we're going to pull through three bands. You want to slide those two bands that you've looped onto three bands. And then secure it back on your hook. And we're going to place it here for our boot. And that's a quick and easy way just to do a leg extension without having to do a whole nother loom for it. So his other boot is going to be two bands. One two times around the hook with three bands pulled through and secured back on. And then we're going to place it down here for his boot. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there guys. Now we need to do some securing bands. And for the securing bands, you're going to take one band and we're going to come up here where um, the horizontal area starts that we need some horizontal support, which is above where the diagonal is. So you're going to do one band Come above that with one band and then up here to the chest area you're going to do a double twist and this is just giving it a little bit more definition in the chest area making it tighter so it'll flare out we need to add our little extensions here for his jacket sorry about that his little extensions for his jacket and to do that we're going to be make what I call a puffy take your hook in one band and you're going to wrap around your that band around your hook three times one two three so you have three bands or a three twist on your hook 
take a single band, slide that over, and secure your end back on your hook. Reclaim your end. And we're going to place that on our left peg above the diagonal, right in line with the horizontal band, the first horizontal band that we laid. So right here. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. One band, one, two, three times. A single band pulled through and reclaimed back on the hook. And back over here on our horizontal, first horizontal band that we laid again. Okay. <coughs> and you guys think that we're almost done, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> now comes the fun part. I need you to set two yellow bands aside for a minute. Two more yellow bands aside for a second. Grab two yellow bands and we're going to be sliding our pony bead onto those two yellow bands. I've had to switch hooks because um, I couldn't get my pony bead on my other crochet hook. But if you can't, if you don't have a crochet hook that's small enough to fit your pony bead, just do the bead threading technique and it will work the same. We want to get that black band bead onto those two bands. So one black bead onto two bands. And we're going to set that aside. We need two more bands. And one more black bead. Pull those through. And we're going to set that aside for a second. We're going to be using these as we loop up our firemen. And we're also going to be using a couple more yellows down here at the boot area. And a few more yellows up here at the top. So let's start to loom our little guy. You want to start on the left, loop your black set of three bands up one, and we're going to pause and stop there for a minute. We're going to come on the right side, grab those two black bands, and loop up one again, and pause and stop. <clears throat> you want to take two yellow bands, twist them on themselves, and place it over that black band that you just looped up. This is going to allow our accent right here in the boot area. I know it's hard to see the orange that I have on this yellow, but there's an orange accent against that yellow, and that's what we're causing here at the boot area. Just kind of makes like a cuff area. Two bands twisted on themselves and placed over our boot for a cat band. And we need to reach in there and we need to get out, reach and push back everything, get out your red bands that are down there be sure to hold on to your yellows that they don't go anywhere. And you want to come forward with your looping on your leg. And we want to come forward with our looping on our legs. <clears throat> and now we've reached the um, center area, which has a single band that needs to come over to the center. And we're going to pick up and finish our leg up to our little puffy here. And we're going to do our right leg, finishing up the right leg. And we've reached where our little diagonal is to finish off his bottom of his jacket. <clears throat> And we're going to come up one more. And now we're actually going to reach into the center 
and we're going to come up one with the center. And we're going to stop there and pulse and push everything down in that area. So for this area here, we now need to take two bands and lay them down. And the two bands with the little black piece in the center, we're going to lay those down also. And this is going to cause our little belt area right here. And we can reach into our left side and loom again. And you want to loom up two times. One, two times on the left, two times on the center, one, two times on the center, and two times on the right. And be sure to get through all of those bands to get your last bands down there. You don't want to grab any extra bands. One time, two times on the right. Push down again. Take two yellow bands. Stretch across to where you just loomed. <coughs> and your two bands with a bead across where you just loomed. And we also need to add our arms in this step. So you want to grab your arm and place it at the top. So we just placed his left arm on. We need to grab his right arm and place his right arm on. And now we can loop his left side up to his arm and then reach into the left get the bottom two and come over to the center reach into the right and I'm grabbing my bottom two if I can get them they're there somewhere <laughs> having problems with these bottom two today Grab my bottom two and come forward. Stretch out our arm a little bit. Grab our shoulder piece. And now we have the center one left to do. Do not forget to do this center one. But before we do the center one, I've got another step or two I have to do for you. You want to take a single band one band and you're going to loop it on the center peg where we just lined his just sent his shoulders to and you're going to go from that center peg up to the diagonal of where the flesh starts another single band from the center peg up to where that flesh starts on the left his cheek area starts and then we need to take a single band, double twist, place it on there as a cat band. And we're actually going to be looming up to the cheek area, reaching into that cat band, looming up to the cheek area. Reach into that yellow cat band and getting that first yellow one, that next yellow one, and loom up to the cheek area. And that's going to do our little collar piece. Oh, and guys, guess what I almost forgot? I almost forgot to do the um, the face. That would have been a big mistake for me. Huge mistake. Let me come back with that yellow. I'm not ready to do that yellow yet. I have to do my horizontal bands for my face. I'm sorry. So just bring those yellows back. And let's place our horizontal band on our face. And to do the horizontal bands in the face... I do a single band, take your hook, grab one piece of the band, and you just want to, well, it's back on there again, you just want to take one piece of that hook and you want to loop it around your center peg again. And this is just, um, 
I call it a one-time twist around that center peg and it just pulls this face in just a little bit tighter for us. And then we want to take a single band again for his next portion of his face and we're going to do the same thing. Loop the band around that last peg or that center peg there one time. For eyes, you're going to place where the flush starts on that layer that we made so long ago. Come across to the other area and then we're going to grab this band where the two eyes are and we're just going to pull it down and loop it over the center peg. And this will keep our eyes in the right spot for us. Okay. Now we can go back to working on our collar, putting our bands back for our collar. So sorry about that, guys. But put our bands back for our collar. And as I said, we couldn't forget to loop our center section of our collar or of our jacket. Don't forget that band. If you forget those bands, your whole thing's going to fall apart. So loop up your center. Now we can reach in and grab our flesh colored bands at the bottom for a neck and come straight forward. Reach into the center peg and this is where it's going to start to get confusing. Reach into that center peg and you want to grab your top two flesh colors. Hi, I'm sorry about that slight pause. I was having problems getting my bands straight here in the cheek area. So I just want to catch us up that we've loomed up to the neck portion and now we're working on the cheek area. So you want to push back that little yellow band that you see there. Grab your top two flesh colored. In my case, they're going off to the right. Reach in again, grab your top two flesh color. And these are going off to the left. Reach in again, the next two flesh color, and those are coming up to the center. We want to reach into the center, pushing back those eye bands and the other little cat bands that we have there. And you want to grab the top two flesh colored bands and loom that up right here to the flesh area. We're going to stop right there and start to work on the cheek again. <coughs> For the cheek area, you want to reach into your left bands and these have a lot on them. You want to grab those two flesh colored bands and we want to pull those out and loom forward. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We want just these two flesh color bands. So reach in, grab your two flesh bands, and come forward. This is where we're going to be placing our extra little bands that we have here. And we need to do a little bit more to them to make the hat complete. So we're going to switch back to red. And you're going to take one red band and wrap it around your hook three times. One, two, three times. You're going to take another red band and loop it around your hook three times. One, two, three times. So you have two three time pieces on that hook. I'm going to turn my loom and I'm going to grab that band right there. And I'm going to slide these bands that are on my hook onto that band that was excess and left over on the side. And then I'm going to loop it onto that flesh that I just did. So it gets looped up forward onto the flesh band after you've placed the little curly cues on it, the puffies on it. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. One band, one, 
two, three times. Another band, one, two, three times. Grab this excess band that we had. Slide on your bands from your hook and place it over the flesh that we just did. Now we're going to be reaching into all of that mess of the flesh on the left and we're getting the top two red bands. It might be easier if you take all the flesh things and pull them up towards the top so we can get to the top two red bands. These top two bands right here. You want to be sure that you don't mess with everything that's down in there at the layer beyond that. But you want to get your top two red bands. Loom forward once. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. We need to get to these top two red bands right here. So I'm reaching in, grabbing my top two red bands, and I'm coming forward. Reach into your center, pushing back that one little piece slightly, and come forward one time in the center. We need to add the little frilly area here for his helmet. And this is going to be a single band. One, two, three times on your hook. Another single band. One, two, three times on your hook. And we can even do a third one. Let's do a third one. One, two, three times on your hook. And then you need to pull all those three onto a single band. So just slide those over onto a single band. And we're going to be placing this across the red ones that we just laid or just looped and stretch that across there a little bit. And that's going to become our brim of our hat right here. And our next step is going to entail adding another bead, our last and final bead. So we're going to reach into the center and come forward one band, or one, one set to the end peg. Take our pony bead, put it back on our crochet hook, or use the bead threading technique. And you want to pick up just one band of those two. And slide that bead on it and loop it back over. Now we can finish off our reds, and these are the reds that we laid in the very beginning. So there's going to be lots of stuff on these pegs, but you want to be sure to get the bottom two bands. We're working on reaching through all of the mess, and there's a lot of it on there. But reach through all that mess, grab the bottom two bands, loom forward. Two bands there to finish off the hat. Now on the right side, we got all this mess again. Reach in on the right side, grab your bottom two bands, come straight forward. Two bands to the center. And now we are just about finished our fireman, and we want to complete it by securing him with our dangle band. Pull your dangle band up, just slip knot it, or whatever way you feel safe securing off the end. And here we go. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. I take the end of my hook and I slide the end of my hook into each and every one of these, especially because there's so much on them. There's so much on there, those layers. You don't want to just rip it right off. You do need a hook or a skewer or something to get in there and get these guys off because they're so tight in the face area with all that stuff we had going on with the helmet. And you reach the neck area and it's the same thing. Shoulder area, it's the same thing. And we can gently pull his body up a little bit. It's still pretty tight, I'm not going to lie to you. I used a lot of bands on this guy. Get to where the puffy is and there's extra bands. You get down here to the legs and you've got extra bands. So it's just easier to use your hook to put in and relieve it. 
and he hasn't fallen apart yet. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. He looks a little odd and wonky at the current moment. And he will as soon as you pull him off the loom because you have to fix him. You know how we did the arms? For the legs, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to take two of those bands and flip them back on themselves. Just flip it back. So you have two bands in the front, two bands in the back. Just kind of straighten them up a little bit. On this leg, we're going to do the same thing. Take two bands, flip them to the back. And yes, this is a fiddler, but I warned you guys before that this was a difficult, difficult task. We made it through. We made it through. Yay. Okay. The belt area. Dun, dun, dun where the black beads are, the bands where the black beads are, you want to leave those. And you want to grab the two that don't have the bead on it. And just flip them to the back. And the same thing for the top. The two beads that don't, ha or the two bands that don't have the beads, just flip them to the back. Give him a little stretch. Straighten up his button. Look, his little, you know, the little, Stripey part goes all over the back. And this is a picture of my local fire department. I don't know if you can see them too well, but that's where I got the the yellow and the orange colors from. That's my local fireman. Mm, they look delish. And then we're just going to pull the yellow out for the collar a little bit. Puff his eyes out some. Fiddle with his eyes just a little bit to get them where I want them to be. Pull his bead for his helmet out. If you need to take your hook to get your eyes to pop out a little bit, just take your hook in there and get your eyes straight. And here we have our cute little fireman. I'm so happy with him. I love how he turned out. My friend that I'm making these for, I hope she likes them and enjoys them. And I hope you guys liked and enjoyed following along with this video. And look forward to the other, the little spark plug dog. Little spark plug. He's a cute little puppy. And the fire hydrant. And the larger Dalmatian also that I will have a tutorial for. Thanks so much.